With more rain and potentially dangerous flooding for the Gulf Coast in what's shaping up to be a wet Mother's Day for much of the nation, drivers battled another night of heavy rain in Houston, where even turning around from a flooded street was hazardous. This man's truck landed in a canal after he tried to avoid the high water. There was lightning, rain, and thunder in southeast Louisiana Friday. There's the potential for flash flooding in Texas and Louisiana again today. Meteorologist Jeff Baradelli is tracking the storm. Jeff, good morning. Hey, good morning, Anthony. Good morning, everybody. That is the big story today, the potential for more flooding. We have saturated ground. We have watches and warnings blanketing all of the southeast, as you can see, and the areas we're watching most closely, especially around Houston, up to around the Louisiana area. Not much yet, but watch out over the next couple of hours. Here's what's happening. We have a weak to moderate El Nino, so warm waters in the Pacific Ocean fueling a strong subtropical jet stream, pulling moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. And so once again today, another round of very heavy rain and storms as well. Let's show you the future radar. Right now, there's not too much on the future radar. But you'll notice as we head through the morning, watch the rain develop right along the southeast coast of Texas and eventually moving into Louisiana as well. There's the possibility of some severe weather in terms of how much rain we're going to see. Generally about two to four inches of rain over the next couple of days. And we'll probably see some places pick up about six inches of rain. And for the moms, let's talk about Mother's Day. A little bit of Mother's Day misery in the northeast. High temperatures only in the upper 40s. Breezy, rain, heavy at times, and the possibility of severe weather in the Carolinas. Jeff, thank you. Stay inside, snuggle with your kids. That's right. That's what you can do. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs>